Just in from Stargic First Contact Day, we've got a brand new trailer for the upcoming Lower Decks Season 2. Let's dive straight into this new trailer and check it out. What up? We doing sci-fi stuff today? Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to Trek Central. Lower Decks trailer is always a blast to break down, as I feel the most weird, out of context content you can imagine, and trying to figure out what is happening is both insane and fun at the same time. Before we do jump into today's trailer, if you are new around here, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from myself and the team here at Trek Central. We're breaking down all the news and information from Star Trek First Contact Day, with the trailers for Discovery, Picard, Lower Decks, and of course more. In the words of Captain Carl Freeman, warp me. Jumping straight into the trailer breakdown now, let's talk all about it. We're starting out with a lovely view of the Sweetos. Now we get a look at the Sweetos definitely not looking all sovereign since it's near destruction after the events of the last season's final. And yeah, this ship is massively growing on me. I cannot wait to see more of the adventures we will experience with this ship itself. Arana, Tendi and Rutherford seem to be at some sort of space diner. Definitely not the normal mess hall of the Sweetos eating food. Arana says, what are we doing sci-fi stuff today? Which may be as good as Picard saying he never cared for science fiction in an early episode of Star Trek Picard. Henson Rutherford is seen with a new implant, but it looks mostly identical to his previous one, so I guess they just gave him the same implant after he lost his last season. In Miranda class, the USS Macduff is seen being fired on in an asteroid field. Miranda would have been in service around 120 years at this point, but was used massively during the Dominion War, and it looks like Miranda has at least been refitted with TNG era engine nacelles. And I have to say, even though Miranda is so old, the refit looks really beautiful. And hopefully we see more original starships like the Excelsior, Nebula, or even the Sovereign class in Season 2. Though obviously, if we see the Odyssey class, then Lower Decks will be the greatest Star Trek show ever. You heard it from me first. Just give me the Odyssey. Come on, what? Give me the Odyssey. <laughs> Macduff could be named after the character in Macbeth, or could be named after Kieran Macduff, the fake officer in the Next Generation episode, Conundrum. We know how Lower Decks is with its deep cuts. The ship is being fired on by two small ships, but a large ship looms in the distance. Rose's design does not look too familiar, so it's possible a new alien species are being introduced. Now we see two Denobulans, which is great because we need more of those in Star Trek. They're being attacked by a Mogato. Mogato were creatures from the TOS episode A Private Little War, and were essentially horned gorillas. The planet these Denobulans find themselves in does not look new, the place where we have previously seen Mogatos, so perhaps this is an escape Mogato from Mirandry of Source. We do at least know that Phlox was very fond of his animals, so perhaps this could extend to their culture as well. Ensign Mariner is seen in an Arbor Jisu outfit, which is a weird red outfit Riker and his father wore in The Icarus Factor in The Next Generation, with Arbor Jitsu being considered the most pinnacle of human martial arts. But to us, it just looks like they're fairground rides when you hit people with big sticks. Commander Ransom is seen in what we can only describe as becoming a rainbow firing god, blowing back Mariner, Dr. Nana, and a couple of other officers. This is the best we can describe this, and what is happening, so who knows. Perhaps Ransom is ascending in his own unique way, like Fletcher from Season 1. A group of possible miners is seen being chased by what looks like to be Packlers in an underground location. The Packlers turned out to be the big bad of the final of Season 1 of Star Trek Lower Decks, and it looks like they may be back with a vengeance on both Enterprises. Mariner is seen in a Cardassian office, remarkably similar to Gold Madrid's offices in Next Generation's Chain of Command, with the four lights and everything. Perhaps Mariner has also been taken captive by Cardassians and is seen struggling with her captors. Maybe we shouldn't simply offer to spar Egg, and that's where the line was drawn, causing her to attack the captors rather than eating that disgusting food that was once offered to Picard. It definitely would be interesting to see how the scene has changed since the collapse of the Obsidian Order, and the damage from the Dominion War the Cardassians suffered. Perhaps Mariner simply got the wrong idea of imprisonment, remembering what she must have heard about Picard's say with Madrid. Ensign Tendi and some Holy Jones looking aliens seem to be in a museum or collection place, being attacked by a swarm of lizard eels. Who knows what this is about, one of the artifacts in the boxes reminds me of the Abnera from Star Trek Beyond, which might still be out there in the Prime Universe, as we all know that it was found in the Kelvinverse. Ensign Rutherford is seen screaming while holding his head, Perhaps suggesting he could remember what happened to him during Season 1 and remembers the heroic sacrifice that Shaxx made to save his life. Shax may be gone, but he'll never be forgotten. Mariner is seen locked in a brig and is being visited by Tendi and Rutherford, and they all wonder how Boimler must be doing on his position on the USS Titan. Quick cut to Ensign Boimler and it's just screaming as the Titan is thrown into another life or death situation. 
being attacked by a horde of ships while moving towards some sort of spatial anomaly. I'm starting to think this jam session's got too many licks and not enough comps. I'm starting to think this jam session has too many licks and not enough comps, is said by Riker. But what does that even mean? Both us and Bormula want to know. If you know jazz, please let us know what too many licks and not enough comments means in this situation. And we really don't know where the hell this comes from, to be honest. I adore Lower Decks Riker, and yes, he may be jazzed up a little more than we remember, yet he still screams Riker to me. Jonathan Fakes is doing a fantastic job, and hopefully we get to see a lot of him in Season 2 of Lower Decks. But as we might have guessed from Season 1 of Lower Decks, we'll be getting more of the USS Titan and Riker, which is amazing. I sure hope we get some other characters like Christina Vale returning from the Titan books, as well as the brand new Picard Titan novel, The Dark Vale, which shows us an adventure on the USS Titan in 2386, which would be 5 or 6 years after the events of this season. Now that may be the end of Star Trek Lower Decks Season 2 trailer, but we did get some extra news. Season 2 of Star Trek Lower Decks is coming soon via August 12th to Paramount Plus in the United States, CTV Sci-Fi and Crave in Canada, and available internationally on Amazon Prime Video. But also, Season 3 of Star Trek Lower Decks is officially a go, and we cannot wait. If you two can't wait until August 12th for your fill of Star Trek comedy, we highly recommend watching the second Contact panel from First Contact Day, which was hosted by Will Wheaton and had guests from Mike Mahan, showrunner of Lower Decks, Jonathan Frakes, Brent Spiner, and official Star Trek podcast host and comedian Paul F. Tompkins. It was a hilarious panel to watch and well worth it. That wraps up our news on Star Trek Lower Deck Season 2 for today. August 12th isn't that far away, so hopefully we'll be seeing the crew of the Sweetos and the Titan on our screens very soon. If you want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media or join our community Discord server. For now, I've been Captain Jack, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Live long and prosper, my friends.